So I've got the back panel installed now. Put that red bracket in and got the screws in this side. And uh, I figured, well, I had it on, but before I put all these cables on, I'd give a quick overview of what's actually installed in the machine. So it's a VAC Station 3200, which means it's a Q-Bus um, KA650 in here, which is uh, top two cards here. So that's a KA650 CPU card. And then uh, attached to it is a RAM card, which I had to do some repair to. There were a number of bad DRAMs. I have a whole YouTube video going over briefly what I had to do to solve that. I've got reverse engineering notes I took that are posted on the computer history wiki at uh, gunkies.org. Uh, had a lot of chips I had to swap around to keep all of these uh, that were missing in the same uh, region so that I could replace them with a single RAM chip which uh, yeah this took a lot of effort but I did eventually get that all fixed and uh, this is an operating KA650 at least it was the last time I turned it on and so it's gonna be kind of hard to put that back in here with one hand but um, just to keep going through things this a good question I'll come back to that one but the 7555 here given the cabling I believe that's got to be the uh, RQDX3 disc controller above that the 7516 has got to be the the Ethernet controller it's the only thing with the correct connector here for uh, AUI so it's got to be for this and I had to make myself a little extender here because it was such a pain getting this thing plugged in um, with the stock cable length it got so bad actually that I broke a wire here and had to repair it so I said okay that's got to get fixed made myself a little extender the M4002 if I'm not mistaken that's um, a timing card. It's like a, a timer. And the reason for that is that there's some ADCs in here as well as a DAC, digital to analog converter. And so I believe that one or the other of those either the ADC or the DAX require a timing reference and the M4002 provides that. Yeah, so this is an analog to digital converter. And the other cards, maybe those are the DACs because this is apparently the analog to digital so maybe these are digital to analog yeah they must be model 1412 DA I think this is I don't know it's made by ADAC now this rack when I originally got it it had some analog devices uh, 5B series backplanes in it for these 5B measurement modules. It had all kinds of low speed data acquisition stuff. Current loop, uh, analog voltage, thermistor, um, thermal couple, you name it. All kinds of measurement modules. Uh, I was missing all the modules but clearly they were using this system for some kind of data acquisition and, and uh, control purposes. Something that required both analog input and output, you know, given the cards that are in here. Now, because this is two uh, BA23 chassis, these cards are not necessarily in here in the correct way for any of this to work, but uh, there is a set of cards here which looks like I'm probably going to have to clean. 
there are the couple of uh, backplane extender cards in here to go from one chassis to the next. Then uh, the last one here, this is the board set for the graphics down here, these two cards. Um, those are, they may be the VCB02, don't quite remember, but it's in this configuration, a 4-bit plane um, graphics system. If you had another RAM card, which I don't, it would become an 8-plane system. Uh, it's capable of color, but the cabling I have here only has one coax for monochrome video. So don't actually get color with this cabling as I explained before and so the monitor cable I have is only monochrome and all the cabling here is monochrome so for the moment I'm limited to monochrome but the card itself is supposed to be capable of color it's just a matter of cabling I think so someday I'll mess around with that and maybe I'll make myself the cabling to do full-blown color graphics so I'm going to go ahead and, and put all these cards where I think they should go. And the back planes in here are, the first three slots are A, B, C, D, and the rest is serpentine, so I'm going to have to take that into account. I've got a couple grant cards if I need them, but I'm going to have to go through here and figure out how I need to wire all of this so that it uh, makes some kind of sense here, along with uh, jumping from one back plane in the first BA23 into the next and then once I have all those cards in there then I'll move on to the next step I'll plug in all the cables maybe get a quick video of that before I close it back everything put together now finally which means uh, I'll power this up I know I said I was going to use the 17-inch uh, ViewSonic CRT, but unfortunately I tried it earlier to make sure that I had all these two bus cards in there correctly, and it ended up not actually working. So something's wrong with that CRT, meaning I'm going to have to troubleshoot that some other time, but uh, this monitor kind of works with sync on green. Sometimes you get a green tint. So it'll do for now. It was the PDU contactor kicking on and uh, turning turns on everything. Now since this system has been sitting in storage for a while, it was a particular RAM test that it used to fail before I fixed the RAM card and I'm just, I think I'm going to run that test because it seems to be a little more thorough than the normal power on self test. It was this uh, mem adder shorts here, so I'm going to run test 48 and this takes a while to complete. So while that's running, I'll just let that go. But yeah, that's the whole rack back together after moving. And wouldn't you know it, more bad RAM. Can't say I'm surprised, but I'm going to have to look into this and figure out if the what the problem really is here because it, it could still be something else. It might have knocked a wire loose on that repair, pulling these boards in and out. I gotta have a look at everything, but 
Um, yeah, something's something's up here. Well, I looked up the errors here and decoded the information and figured out that the error is actually at um, in the eighth megabyte, right near the end of memory, and it's in uh, I believe bit 13. I can tell that because the last seven bits of where is it here? Last seven bits of P8 here are 6B, which describes the ECC error syndrome. And if you look at the DEC reference manual, they actually tell you that that means there was a correctable error at bit 13, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got a brand new memory error here that cropped up in the last. Um, maybe six to eight months so this RAM card is I mean it had a bunch of problems that I fixed and it's apparently either got some that I missed or some that were marginal last time and this thing is just continuing to fail so uh, I'm probably gonna fix this next bit again the same way that I've been doing and check it for errors again and then I'll have to decide what I want to do long term